All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back to part two of the Seeking Hidden Gems mystery box. Uh, so by now you've seen the first half, I would say, pretty much half of the cards. Um, now we're gonna get down to the rest of it and we'll ba hopefully bang this out. So in this video, we can get to the open last because I am dying to see what's in here, as well as in these too. I mean, I can see Eli, you know, elite card on top and here's a numbered Jacob de Grom. So I'm sure that's some good stuff right there too. But uh, let's keep going with the team packs. Let's get Dave Magadan, Diamond Kings, Mackie Sasser, Dow Strawberry, Hojo, These are all at 93, right? Yep, 93 tops. Probably a complete team set. If not, it's pretty close. Flip these around. Upper deck. Maybe a complete upper deck team set. So what I'm going to be doing with, a lot of, with my Mets collection uh, at some point is um, just putting them in binders. Uh, you know, I'm going to take all the cards that I have and I'm going to break them out into their sets, their respective sets, and put them in pages. And you know, I'm just going to keep track of what I need and you know, put leave blank spots and it's a triple play. Might be a triple play complete set. Tim Burke, Hojo, Vince Coleman, Kevin Elster. It's a pretty cool shot. Coney, Franco, Magadan, Hunley. This is a triple action. Mets versus Expos. Oh, it's like a book. Oh, yeah, it's like one of these booklets. That's cool. Vince Coleman, triple play. There's a gold cup card for Jeff Kent. Tops gold. Nice. Jeff Kent, upper deck. Like the wood grain. Todd Hunley, Bowman's best. It's a sweet card. More Todd Hunley, David Ski, Electric Diamond. Boy Gooden, Todd Hunley, Todd Hunley highlights card. Jeff Kent. Another Jeff Kent from Pacific Stadium Club. So this design of Stadium Club, not bad. I know you guys probably know by now if you follow the channel, I'm a big fan of Stadium Club. Stadium Club in the 90s, like kind of waver, like early 90s, they were great. Um, started to waver a little bit when their design and the pho photography in like the mid to late 90s. Um, I mean, you can see kind of like busy in the back. The stock's not as great, it's not as shiny. Um, you know, glossy, I should say. And, uh, you know, this design's not horrible, but, like, these cards don't seem to wow you the way that some of the other stadium club issues do. Let's see, like, here's another one. Again, you know, design's nice. You know, I kind of like it. A little starburst around the, you know, the uh, Mets logo down there, but you know, there's really nothing special about it. It's Eddie Murray. I mean, if you compare it to the old Fleer Ultra, I mean, I would almost prefer the you know, the Fleer Ultra over these, that stadium club. The early stadium club, the current stadium club, great. Uh, but those mid 90s stadium clubs just kind of left a little bit to be desired. More star stickers, from Premier, Willie Randolph, Doc Gooden, Hojo, Junior Nabola, Brett Saberhagen. Nice. A Keith Hernandez card. Kevin Elster, Bill Picota, Tim Tuffle. Oh, nice. 1981. Oh, nice. 81 Al Roboski for the Al Roboski Super Collection. 81 Joel Youngblood. I, just, I don't know what it is about these the early 80 Donruss cards. I just love them. It's Mookie Wilson, Tom Seaver, it's Dave Magadan, 82, Ellis Valentine, it's Hojo, it's Keith Hernandez, 90, um, 
Thomas, Bill Pulsifer, Juan Castillo, Paul Wilson. And then here's some, these are the newer Heritage cards. Wilson Flores, Robinson Cano, and Steven Matz. And looks like uh, there, see? This is what I'm talking about. So, you know, if you look at these cards compared to the, um, those 90s, I and mean, there's, there's no comparison, really. I mean, the, the photography, just from the different angles, you know, the glossy stock, just, just great cards. Jason Vargas, Baseball's Best as a McDonald's, Dwight, Dwight Gooden, Tojo, Bobby Bo. Bunch of 90 score. So this might be, these are these tops big, I believe. So this might be all the Mets cards from this issue of tops big. If I can get this team bag open. All right, let's see. Lenny Dykstra, Hojo, oh, different years too, it looks like. So Lenny Dykstra, Hojo, there's another Hojo. Kevin Elster, a lot of people don't like these. They don't fit into binders or the top loader is very neat. But uh, I kind of like them. There's something different. Oddball item. Oh, seeing some more hockey. So you got David Segui, Bobby Jones, Charlie O'Brien, Ricky Otero. Juan Lagaris making a nice catch against the wall. This is David Wright. Don't have that one. Orlando Hernandez. It's Carlos Delgado and David Wright. Billy Wagner. Mark Bullard. Nice older hockey cards. God, I love these older hockey cards. And Pete Peters. And some some stickers. Very cool. Seven minutes. I hope I'm not boring you guys. I know this isn't. Usually I like to keep the videos a little shorter, but I just definitely wanted to get through this. Johan Santana, that's pretty cool. Almost looks like a playing card. It's from Nuts Tops. Huh. Oh, it's like an insert. Very cool. Ray Ardonia. It's this 97 Fleer. So. This probably was one of the worst decisions that Fleer ever made as far as cards go. So whereas everybody else was going with glossy stock, it almost appeared that like they wanted to go something completely different. It has this matte finish to it. And um, so when you're, you know, normally when you guys go through cards, when you open up a pack and you kind of like shuffle them like that, they're all stuck together. They're really hard, like not stuck together in a bad way, but I mean, they're just, they don't separate quickly. You can't like shuffle through them. Um, the matte finish, just, you know, none of the colors pop on the photos. They, it just looks very dull. It's, it just was not a good move on my, uh, in my opinion, uh, by Fleer. And, uh, you know, it's just, I, I did puzzling. This really is. So tell me what you think. If you guys have opened up 97 Fleer before and what you thought of these cards. There's Sport Flicks for Wally Backman. Core, Juan Samuel, some more Fleer Flare. See that? I mean, so these were issued, I don't think these are 97, these are like 94, I believe. 93, 94, something like that. So they have these beautiful cards, nice thick stock, glossy, you know, beautiful photography, really high end looking card. And then with the 97s, they just completely go in the opposite direction. Just baffling, just completely baffling. Mike Maddox, Joe Orsalak, Frank Tanana. Nice. It's a Bill Allman, 1981 Fleer. Very cool. Jeremy Burnett. Brooks, Brooke Fordyce. 
So these things, I'm not quite sure what these are. Baseball Inquirer. I have a few of them. So I don't know if it, like it's blank there because you're supposed to make up your own name for the for the guy or whatever, but it's it's kind of cool. Nico Ries, Riesgo, Frank Viola, Dr. Eden. That's nice. Tops Chrome. Roberto Alomar. Nice. Brett Saberhagen. All right. Maybe we'll do part three with the big finish. Unless I pick it up here a little bit. Stop jabbering through this so much. There's Bobby Ojeda. I don't know if anybody remembers. I believe Bobby Ojeda was in a boating accident um, way back when. Ron Darling. Hojo. This is interesting. Is it... It's hard to see if that is that from the Nash. Oh, opening day. Okay, so these are tops opening day. Todd Humley and then Masato Yoshi. Greg McMichael, Fleer Ultra. Love the Fleer Ultra, especially the nineties Fleer Ultra. Clint Hurdle. Jerry Kuzman. I love I do love these cards. I know a lot of people, you know, they're like, eh. But yeah, these Baseball Legends cards are really cool. And Jerry Kuzman was a highly underrated pitcher. Johnny Olerud. It's Al Leiter. It's kind of textured. Gary Carter, All-Star. Mookie Wilson. Bruce Bereni. Al Leiter. Another Bruce Bereni. It's a Sport Flicks for Ron Darling. Hojo. David Wright, and a rookie card for Willie Colazzo, whoever he is. More of those McDonald's cards, the classic. So the classic best cards, these are the minor league cards. This is for... Brooke Fordyce. He was supposed to be a big prospect. Never again, never panned out. There's a rookie card for Ricky Otero. Some more of these superstar, these star stickers. Keith Hernandez, I don't have that one. There's another. That's for the PC, for the or the uh, super collection. It's a Paul Wilson Premier Prospects. Don't have I don't believe I have this Fleer Keith Hernandez card, so Eric, you're hitting it out of the park, my friend. I mean PC and my super collections of Al Roboski and uh, Keith Hernandez are definitely growing. Tops gold. No, yeah, these are tops. They're all tops golds. Wow, that, and that would be awesome to have a complete set of regular, you know, the base and the tops gold. Wow. Yep, all tops gold. Very cool. That is awesome. Nice. Don't have a lot of those score, or any of those score, I don't think, for Mets. Yeah, I'm thinking my 4500 4, up from 4169 is probably going to be pretty decent. 300 cards, maybe 200 and some odd cards, I think we're going to add. Unique cards, that is. Obviously, this is more than 200 cards. Oh, cool. So these... Uh, oops, that's a George Foster card. So these are some kind of offer, I guess. Where you can send away for... Please select the Cooper Sound card and superstar player disc you wish by marking the coupon 
And then you send this in to Major League Marketing and then they send you back. But, so that's pretty cool though. That's something, again, that's oddball little item for the PC, for the Super Collection, I should say. Pete Harnish, Brian Schneider, Angel Pagan, Mike Pelfrey, Robinson Cancel, there's David Wright, Louisa Salou, there's the students work hard, get uh, get cards, Willie Colazzo again, there's Carlos Munoz, David Wright, Carlos Munoz, Ed Hearn, and Mackie Sasser Gold. Quite good in there. And I Dwight Good and Mookie Wilson, Lenny Dykstra. There's another Dwight Gooden from 93 Donruss. 94 Donruss. Dwight Gooden triple play. Tim Burke. Nice. Nice. God, I love these older cards. George Foster. Jesse Orozco. Dave Kingman, Mike Fitzgerald. It's 83 and 85 Fleer. And these are 86 Fleer, I believe. 86 or 87. Don't, and again, I, I know that these are filling holes because I do not have a lot of these. Dwight Gooden, Anthony Young, Darrell Boston, Dave Magadan, Tim Tuffle, 92 Donruss. Back to 89. Some more tops gold in there. There's more 89 Donruss. Love those early 80s Fleer. Early 80s Fleer and Donruss. Alright. Hojo. Greg Jeffries. Dave Magadan. Yeah, these are more of those opening day. John Olrude. Bobby Jones. Jamie Wright. Pretty cool card though. Like at the baseball stitches, Stadium Club. So, I don't know if you can see it there. Kind of when Wade hits it. Just kind of raised. Ron Gardenhire, Brent Gaff, Johnny Olrude. More of the uh, Keith Hernandez offer. So this is Topps Gallery back in the, wow. It's pretty cool. Greg Jeffries. Carl Everett, Pacific. Right, Tommy Agee. Gooden, Strawberry, Viola, Mark Carrion, nice, there we go again. It's like a little surprise in every little packet, you know, you're getting like the typical junk wax and then all of a sudden, bam, they hit you with the early 80s, 81 and 82, I believe, yep, 81 and 82, Fleer. Lee Mazzilli. Frank Tavares, Craig Swan, Mike Jorgensen. Just awesome. And Jim per Pearsall. All right, so, got this one little pack left. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this one pack on this video. That'll put us a little over 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna take another break and this will be the end of part two, and then I will do part three as the big guns. It's Mike Piazza, the Ring of Honor, Kevin Mitchell. That's cool, who's that by? Tops. nice. This is a great card, plain and simple. So this is the Mets Phillies, this is right after 9-11. Uh, um, when the Mets were approved 
to wear uh, something other than their normal hat, and they wore the NYPD and, and New York Fire Department hats. Um, so that is a really, really cool card. And uh, glad to add that one to my collection. Mike Fitzgerald, David Cohn, Harry Templeton, Keith Miller, Starquest, Beltran. Yep, Beltran. It's unfortunate what happened to him. It would have been interesting to see him, um, you know, manage Mets, but he got caught up, obviously. Pedro. Vince Coleman, Doc Gooden, Record Breaker card, Doc Gooden, Ron Darling, Baseball's Hottest Stars, nice oddball item, there's some SP, this is the 93 SP, this is the set that the uh, Jeter Rookie is in, um, I opened uh, some packs of these, uh, did not get any of the Jeter rookies, unfortunately. I do have a friend who has two of them, one with a scratch, and then the other one, it's, it's damn near perfect. I mean, if it's, if it's not a 10, it's definitely a 9, um, and I think he should definitely get it graded. If I had the money, I'd definitely offer you know, him you know, some for that card because that card's going to be worth something. This is kind of cool. It's like Coca-Cola, set of 40 cards. It's a lot of ball item. I got Steven Matz, Jerry Familia, Davy Davis. It's a draft pick, Terrence Long, classic draft picks. Rated rookie. Is that Jason Giacome? Jeremy Burnett's. Simons. These are oh, those award. Those are the winner cards. So I'm gonna pretty much have a full set of these too. Nice. All right, guys. So that's the end of part two, and uh, we're gonna take a little break, and we'll be back with part three.